For me, I have to break it down for you oh, guys. Oh, perfect. <laughs> Absolutely, pal. You're right, guys. Well, headlines have been rolling in since early December, so there's a ton to break down. The latest headlines have been all about the proposed plan to cut the broadcast time, award presentations of cinematography, editing, and two other categories, and producers were only planning to stream those awards online during commercial breaks. According to NBC News, though, high-profile celebrities like George Clooney, Emma Stone, and Robert De Niro protested against the decision, so producers dropped that plan and are airing all of the awards and their acceptance speeches. Another issue, Oscars ratings have been tanking the last few years. With that said, producers were on a mission to cut down the award show down from to under three hours. After last year's three hour and 53 minute broadcast, the Academy Awards lead producer, Donna Gigliotti, says all they can do is try. The Oscars officially have no host. Kevin Hart received massive backlash after uncovered homophobic tweets, and he stepped down as the show's host back in early December. That means no Hart, no Dwayne The Rock Johnson, nobody. This is the first time the show will go hostless in three decades. The last time that happened, Rob Lowe did a little number with Snow White, and even Rob Lowe wants to leave that in the past. Oh, Mr. Lowe, I'm such a fan. Really? Oh. I'm a big fan of yours, Snow, but you know, there's so much I'd like to know about you. Oh, oh my God. All right, well, in the, in the way of performers, expect to see some American Idol contest, a former American Idol contestant, Adam Lambert, open the show with original members of Queen, as well as Star is Born duo Bradley Cooper and Lady Gaga perform live. To understand what the anticipation is all about, tune in to the 91st Academy Awards tomorrow night at 8 p.m. Eastern on ABC. Back to you guys. Landed.